बी ए पार्ट फर्स्ट के विद्यार्थियों के लिए आज हम पोएम डिस्कस करेंगे वन डे आई रोट हर नेम बाय एडमंड स्पेंसर प्रिय विद्यार्थियों आज के वीडियो में पहले वीडियो में हम डिस्कस करेंगे अबाउट द पोइट एडमंड स्पेंसर एंड A short introduction of the poem One Day I Wrote Her Name. In next videos we will discuss the whole poem. So let's start the video. First we will talk about Edmund Spencer. Edmund Spencer was born in London in the year fifteen fifty three. He belonged to a poor but respectable family as regards his parents nothing is known except that his mother's name was eliza beth he was educated for some time at the merchant tailors school and then in 1669 at the age of 16 was sent to pembroke hall cambridge he took his bachelor's degree in 1573 he left the further study at university in 1576 and for the next 2 years to stay with some relatives during this time that he fell in love with one rosaline who was not at all worthy of his love but who was vain and arrogant enough to reject the poet for someone else spencer bemoans her faithlessness in his pastoral poems called shepherd's calendar so edmund spencer was a stalwart poet of elizabethan age Spencer was one of the key literary figures of English Renaissance along with Shakespeare, Philip Sidney, Christopher Marlowe, Ben Jonson, John Donne and John Milton. Charles Lamb called him the poet's poet because of the high quality of his poetry. He is well known for his allegoric allegorical poem The Fairy Queen in 1590 written in honor of Queen Elizabeth This poem also glorifies England and its language Spencer also has to his credit two romantic sonnet cycles entitled Amorty and Epithemion Spencer experimented with the sonnet form and developed a unique form which came to be called Spencerian sonnet a sonnet with three interlocked quatrains and a couplet written in iambic pentameter Spencer is considered to be one of the greatest english poets of all time he wanted to create poetry that was strictly english and he had chaucer as his main inspiration and reference between 1579 and 1580 spencer got directly involved in sir philip sidney's literary circle This set him on the literary course that he pursued throughout the rest of his life. Around that time, Spencer wrote the Shepherd's Calendar, his first major poetic work. The Shepherd's Calendar is a cycle of pastoral that are greatly influenced by Virgil's Eloquence. he used archaic spelling 
to relate his work with medieval literature and particularly chaucer's work in 1591 complaints containing sundry small poems of the world vanity was published and some years later in 1595 emirati and epithomelian was published he accompanied lord grey to ireland as his secret secretary and lived in that country for the rest of his life with occasional visits to england for getting his poems published or in search of better prospects in ireland spencer served the government in various capacities and soon his services were appreciated and he was granted the kilcomen castle it was the kilcomen that it he started the great epic fairy queen and finished three books in a few years in addition to writing the fairy queen he wrote a whole sequence of sonnets called emirati of which sonnet 75 is a part of your syllabus Spencer did two pretty sweet and inventive things with his sonnet sequence. First, he created a variation on the sonnet form that we are now refer as referred to as the Spencerian sonnet. He also turned the traditional sonnet themes totally upside down. before spencer almost all sonnet sequences were about unequated love but spencer decided to lighten things up to a bit and his emirati tell the story of his successful courtship of and marriage to his wife elizabeth boyle spencer paved the way for hundreds of years of happy sonnets his death thus spencer returned to england with his wife and three children he was now a ruined and totally dejected man and he did not live long in january 1599 at the age of 45 spencer died and was buried to the westminster abbey next to chaucer so dear student this was a brief introduction of the poet edmund spencer now we will talk about the poem one day i wrote her name this sonnet one day i wrote her name has been taken from spencer's volume emirati which is a whole sequence of sonnets the sonnet one day i wrote her name appears to at number 75 in his emirati it is one of the spencer's most famous sonnets it's about the ocean love and immortality it's also about the great power of the almighty poetry what poet or reader of poems can resist a poem that insists upon poetry's power none is there that we can find this lyric poem touches on a classical theme the relation between time and immortality spencer employs figurative language to evoke not only imagery but also an emotional 
response from the reader. The poem shows us a vivid picture. The couple is along the seaside. The man is trying to write the lady's name on the sand, but waves come and wash it away. Then he writes again, but all in vain. The lady persuades him to give up and says that as time passes, she will also die just as the name wiped out by the tide. But the man holds a different point of view. He believes his verses will make her immortal. So this sonnet, the sonnet 75, one day I wrote her name, is a part of Amorati, a sonnet cycle that describes Spencer's courtship and marriage to Elizabeth Boyle. Amorati was published in 1595 and it included 89 sonnets and a series of short poems called Aeronautics. The volume was titled Amorati and Epiphemian, written not long since by Edmund Spencer. Particularly, Sonnet 75 depicts the lyrical voice attempt to make his loved one immortal. A scene is described in which the lyrical voice has a conversation with his loved one about this particular topic. Throughout the poem, the speaker describes writing his lover's name in the scent, only to watch it to be washed away by the tide. No matter how many times it happens, he labors on. He even continues to write after his lover tells him that she has no desire to live forever. He doesn't believe that she should reside alone with the baser things of the world. Spencer concludes with his speaker suggesting that his love is going to endure endure throughout time. So dear student, one day I wrote her name. This poem was published in 1595. It was a love sonnet. It was numbered as 75 in volume called Emirati. The sonnet opens in a perfectly romantic setting. The lover and beloved are sitting on the beach. The poet is lover in an exalted mood and he is trying to write his beloved's name on the sandy beach. But the waves of the sea disfigures it. The poet concludes with his firm conviction that his love will survive beyond the boundaries of death and time. The sonnet is remarkable for its vivid imagery. It is written in iambic pentameter with the rhyming scheme A, B, A, D, C, D, C, D, E, F, E, F, G, G. So, Priya Vidyarthiyo, इस वीडियो में हमने डिस्कस किया है अबाउट द पोइट स्पेंसर एंड ए ब्रीफ समरी और ए ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द पोएम वन डे ऑफ द सोनेट वन डे आई रोट हर नेम इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस लाइन टू लाइन एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ द पोएम